they say how stupid that policy was, uh, not just for 20 years. Why the Biden administration did not inherit it much from the Trump administration except this, this very crucial issue. Well, I think the amazing point is uh, if you spend a trillion dollars in another country, you expect something good to come out of that, some infrastructure, some development, some uh, support of the population for uh, the changes. But the United States spent almost all of that trillion dollars on military approaches. What did uh, the U.S. leave behind in Afghanistan? Where are the hospitals? Mm -hmm. Where are the schools? Where are the roads? Uh, where is the uh, safe childbirth? Unfortunately, this is why there was no support for the U.S.-backed government, because the U.S. effort was a military effort. Uh, mm -hmm. And unfortunately, a military effort is not a developmental effort. A military effort doesn't win the support of people. Uh, it uh, ended up uh, having no broad support in the population. Uh, and the result is the Taliban were able to wait uh, and then return mm. uh, after $1 trillion. So, of course, I look at this from an American point of view, and I say how stupid that policy was. Uh, not just for 20 years, but for 40 years. But Professor Sachs, you're so politically incorrect, I have to say, in the eyes of many, probably in your country right now. How could you dare to say all these things? Well, because, uh, you know, at, at uh, my age, and I've been at this for 41 years working all over the world, I've seen straight up Vietnam. Uh, the disaster in Cambodia. I've seen the U.S. intervention in Central America. We've seen two Gulf Wars. We've seen uh, what uh, covert operations uh, did to destroy Syria. It's enough. I'm, I'm so sad for my country. But one the, after another. Why, Professor? There's an old expression in English uh, that uh, when you have a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Uh, well, the United States has a powerful military, so everything looks like uh, a solution uh, for a war. And so the United States uh, uses the military as foreign policy. But there is no foreign policy that comes out of a military. And uh, we use the military in the Middle East, in Iraq, in Syria. We use the uh, military uh, in this region in uh, Central Asia. Uh, we use the military in Central America. We use the military in Vietnam, Cambodia, Laos. Not once did this work. If all these things happen once and again, there must be a logic. What is driving all these perceptions? There must be some real interest down there. There are interests. There are corrupt contractors. There's the military yeah. industrial complex. But I actually don't think that it's that. First, I think it's a lot of ignorance in the United States. Uh, the U.S. does not know the history and geography of the rest of the world, period. I mean, period. And second, there is not in all parts of American society, but in certain parts of American society, a deep disdain for other cultures. And the result of that is you don't have the ethics or the knowledge to succeed, but you do have a powerful hammer, as I said. Mm. And so I think that these are not interests. Nobody won in the U.S. out of Afghanistan. This has just been a tragedy, but so stupid. And that is because of ignorance and because the American leaders never cared really about Afghanistan. And the public never cared about Afghanistan. If it's only for you, not for the people involved, it's never going to succeed.